are y'all doing today? Um, I'm taking advantage of this beautiful snowy day. Uh, for those of you in New England, uh, you are aware that we are currently, or by the time you see this video, we are either in the middle of or towards the end of quite a nice little, uh, nice little snow flurry going on here. Um, yesterday afternoon, just in time for the snow, I received um, my Mystery Tackle Box Pro for the month of March. Um, so I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, short disclaimer before I start this video, I'm trying a new technique for my unboxing videos with two cameras. So I have this camera here, and then I have this camera right here. So with this camera you'll be able to see my face and I'll be talking to you, the viewer, and then with this camera here I'll be cutting to... <sighs> There's cat hair all over this thing. I'll be cutting to uh, close-ups of the baits and you'll be able to see the unboxing that's happening down here. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have the Mystery Tackle Ball Badibo Mystery Tackle Box Pro box for March. Opening it up, first thing we have this awesome sticker, the other KVD. I don't remember his I don't remember his name. Kyle Von Dutch. Kurt. Well, there's stuff blowing off the houses. So we got this cool KVD sticker. We have our bait card. Wow. Oh, we got some good stuff this week. All right, so first thing, we have the Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank by Live Target. It is a six to eight foot dive depth crawfish crank bait. This retails for $12.49. Uh, it's kind of a see-through crawfish color, or crayfish, however you, however you say it, it's fine, but I'm gonna say crawfish. Now I'm gonna try to be more careful opening these. One, because I wanna give you guys a good, you know, a good picture of, you know, what exactly these baits are. But on the other hand, I also wanna preserve the packaging preserve the bait um, and repackage them in order to um, possibly do some giveaways like if there's some baits that I have duplicates of um, or things like that I want to be able to give you guys who maybe don't have this bait yet an opportunity to try it out so some of these things I'll be putting aside and doing giveaways so um, that will be coming down the line. So that's the uh, Live Target Craw Crankbait. Second item we have is the most expensive item in the box, the River to Sea Double Plopper. Now, by now, if you're any level into the fishing industry or, you know, passionate about fishing at all, you've probably heard of the Whopper Plopper, and you've probably also heard of the Double Plopper. Now, this bait retails for $17.84. It's a floating buzz bait. The two floats on top have the plopper tail to them, so they disturb the water as you reel it in. This is a 5 8 ounce double plopper. This is in sun-kissed color. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a goldfish, I would say. They could have called this goldfish and I would have, I would have bought it. Um, I wanted to, I've been interested in trying the double plopper, but not interested enough to pay $18 for it. I know you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere, but um, I haven't wanted to pay that much money to try one of these out. But now, thanks to Mystery Tackle Box, I will be able to satisfy my curiosity. So here we go. Here it is. In all of its double plopper glory. It's an interesting bait, for sure. Bang, bang, boom, bang, bang. Bang, bang, boom. All right, next bait. Project Z. Shroom's Micro Finesse Jig. Oh, man. 
It's a two pack, which is awesome. These are 3 16 ounce. Just a small finesse jig, green pumpkin with a little uh, peach and blue in there for a flash. Now there are trailers with these. The Z-Man Krusties. Krusty Z, Krustays, in pond scum color. It's basically like a craw chunk, but on a much smaller scale. These are two inch, two inch craws. Um, and these will uh, pair up perfectly with the micro finesse jig. So the micro finesse jig retails for $4.99 and the crusties um, retail for $4.49. The crusties is also that mystery tackle box exclusive color pond scum. So that's pretty cool. Next thing we have a uh, Baby Mad Paca by Netbait. These retail for $4.49. These are in green pumpkin with black flake. Let's take one of these babies out. So you've got what 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 sort of looks like a um, a lizard body with it's kind of like a hybrid of three baits you got like the lizard body on top then you have the craw craw in the middle and then you have a grub tail it's kind of an interesting uh interesting bait oh yeah yep they definitely got that scent on there so that's the net bait baby mad paka now the last bait we have is a premium spinner bait by jenko fishing which is pretty cool. I haven't bought a spinnerbait in a while. Um, this is a one ounce spinnerbait, so it's a pretty, uh, pretty beefy spinnerbait. Light wire, premium swivel, solid brass blades. It's all about the action. This one is in chartreuse and blue, but you can get a good, you can get a good look at it there. Two blades. So that's pretty cool for more flash in the water. And last, but certainly not least, we have our Dibble Digest for the month of March. In this digest, there's articles about feather hair jigs, fishing every type of wood cover, and everything you need to know about smallmouth bass. The largest smallmouth bass I've ever caught was probably smaller than my hand. This year, I'm definitely determined to catch, obviously a bigger one, but also, you know, a, a good size smallmouth. So I'm definitely going to be reading about smallmouth, and uh, I just love smallmouth bass. I think smallmouth bass are one of my favorite types of fish. And that's the box for the month of March. To end this video, I'm going to leave you guys with an interesting thought and maybe a little research project for you. Not homework. I'm, I'm, I'm not. That's the thought I'm going to leave you with is this. Can you take a fish that has uh, a damage to his gill and is bleeding, which happens quite often when we catch fish. Um, so fish bleeding profusely from his gill. If you take a Coca-Cola or a Mountain Dew or a Sprite or some sort of carbonated beverage and pour it over their gills, it stops the bleeding. Interesting thought, isn't it? Kind of got your, kind of got your attention, kind of got your curiosity. Probably should have started the video with this, huh? Oh well. Go check that out. I'm gonna try to find the article and post it on my Facebook page. Um, and I'll also put the link in the description for the article that I read yesterday. Really, really interesting stuff. There's actually videos of people doing this to fish. I'll try to find the links and post the links to those videos down in the description and give you guys kind of a little resource packet to kind of check that out. It's a really, really interesting um, theory, I guess you would call it. I'm still working on cleaning this room and getting it uh, fishified. Um, what you can't see down below here is clothes and trash and shoes and fishing gear that I have not yet organized. The floor is a mess, but luckily you can't see that, but I'm working on it. For those of you in New England, I hope you guys are staying safe today, staying warm. 
hope your power doesn't turn off because today is a great day to learn. I challenge you guys today to learn something about fishing that you didn't know before. These days don't have to be a day where you're just stuck in the house wishing you could go fishing. I know you're gonna wish you could go fishing. I wish I could go fishing. But today can actually be a really, really good advantage and actually help your fishing career. So take the time today to learn something new. That's my challenge to you. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like. And if you wanna see more of my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. And please, if you guys have any ideas, stuff you wanna see, if there's something in my room that interests you, leave a comment below and I'll make a video about it. If you wanna hear a story about, you know, what's the deal with the flag and the camouflage or what, you know, I don't know. You guys have better ideas than I do. And that's my point. I can only give you guys what you want if you let me know. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, what interests you, what you want to know about. If I don't know, I'll at least tell you where to find the answers. Thanks again. This is Josh with Finslayer TV, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>